it can land it can hop but can it restart almost a month after its historic moon landing chandrayaan 3 india's third mission to the moon is getting up for its next big experiment and perhaps its final one uh, just as the sun rises above the horizon on the south pole of the moon a scientist from the indian space research organization will attempt to establish communication with lander vikram and they'll see if they can restart lander vikram and pragyan rover which are parked next to each other on the south pole of the moon since the morning of september 4th where they were put into a sleep mode now that decision was taken because uh, chandrayaan 3 had completed its mission life which was 14 earth days or one lunar day and once the sun sets on the moon there's no more sunlight to power the spacecraft and uh, once the night descends the temperatures can go to as low as minus 200 degrees celsius now this creates extremely frigid conditions for any spacecraft to survive uh, so after two weeks of slumber it is for the first time that the sunrise is happening and once the sunlight falls on the on the solar panels uh, and it recharges the battery of lander vikram isro will succeed in communicating with it and try to revive it but that is no guarantee that all the payloads on it are also going to uh, function to their optimum capacity there are very slim chances of that happening but let's say if that happens isro can hope to collect uh, a little more observations than it had initially expected to uh countries like the US uh China and Russia are going to closely monitor this development because they're planning to set up a lunar base on the moon and uh it will definitely add to the scientific prowess of ISRO that its spacecraft could endure the long lunar uh night although it's it's extremely difficult but yes ISRO is uh testing its uh, capability with uh, with this exercise uh just to uh, uh remind our viewers that uh, chandrayaan 3 has successfully completed all its scientific objectives it landed on the moon on uh, august 23rd and uh, which was the historic landing of chandrayaan 3 india's third mission to the moon it not only did it measure the se seismic activity on the moon it collected a lot of data about the temperature variations the lunar regolith or the lunar soil it inserted a probe into the lunar soil then apart from that it detected the elements uh, like sulfur apart from major elements like aluminum and uh, on september 4th it was put into a sleep mode but before doing that isro did another a uh, little experiment which was called the hop experiment wherein they elevated the spacecraft to a height of about uh, 40 cm by firing the engines and then the uh, lander was made to land about 30 to 40 meter uh, centimeters away uh, during the entire experiment uh, isro again tested its capabilities it redeployed the uh, ramp and tested whether the payloads are also working at the new site and they were indeed working so yes isro is a uh, time and again testing its capability with the entire chandrayaan 3 mission which has been excess extremely successful so far uh but just again to remind our viewers that the mission life was 14 earth days so uh unlike uh, russia's luna 25 which had actually uh was designed to perform uh, experiments for a period of one earth year it had those necessary arrangements on board to withstand or uh, to endure the you know lunar night in in case of isro the, those arrangements are not there but uh, let's see if isro can achieve uh success in this little experiment and uh, revive the land of vikram and pragyan rover once again on september 22nd